Um, now let's let's uh, make some graphs of these things. You know, I, I, if we graph this, it, it'll just be so silly. And these all ridiculously negative uh, DSCRs. And we'll have a really big one for the minus. But here's what we can do: is let, let's graph the. Uh, how about this? This this thing with a 23 percent probability of loss can, with a D, this one we can put minimum. How about we put uh, equal STD DV? Okay. We just use the old one. Okay. That's the standard deviation, and let's say that we go up by, by uh, <sighs> and that, now what we're doing, I should tell you what we're doing. We're putting the, the mean and average, okay, and then we'll uh, get the average. And what we need to do is kind of get a range. So our our range, our low, is let's let's take the mean minus three times the standard deviation, something like that. And the high is the the mean plus standard deviation times three. Okay, uh, which probably is way too high a range, isn't it? Why didn't why did that work so badly? Um, well, let's just put the minimum minimum for the the uh, PLCR, okay? And then let's put the maximum. That, that's a more reasonable one. And then oh, let's put the increment. I see. That's why. You know, oh god, let's make the maximum this plus three times the standard deviation. Okay, so we don't have such a ridiculous. And the increment will be this, the, the low minus the high. Let's put difference. And what we're doing is making a graph. I hope I told you this. And these are the, the these are the Oh shit! Oh come on! And then we put an increment, and let's just take that difference and divide it by twenty or something. So we'll have twenty different increments. So our, I'm going to call that our bins because that's what Excel calls it. And we take the uh, 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 low, and then we'll just take the low. Uh, sorry, but take the low plus the increment and press the F4, and we'll go down R5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm looking up here to get this. Okay, I think we have to do 21, Control D. And what did I do? I, I didn't. Uh, Oh, come on, what am I doing? I pressed F1 instead. I shouldn't have had a beer. Okay. That increment should have been the difference divided by 20. What? Well, how come I didn't put 20? So this goes kind of from the top to the bottom. That's our, our increment. I'll put Shift Control 1. And then we put a, a frequency. Okay, and we we select the whole range, shift control down, and then we select the whole number of bins, and then we press shift control enter, and of course I forgot to do this, so I can press F2, shift control enter, and this is this is our uh, frequency. Now, if we wanted to put a uh, 
a prob we can move this over and put a probability and then we'll take this out so it'll be the uh, x-axis and we can just put equal this divided by the sum ah oh, god okay I shouldn't make this videos after I, I drink uh, the sum of, of this okay and then we uh, double click on that and then we press F11 I guess and we'll have our, 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 our this is our increment of uh, LLCR, PLCR and this is our probability distribution for PLCR okay and we'll uh, make this one how about <sighs> and we'll make this one a uh, bigger one now you know what we could do is uh, you know we want to basically want to see whenever this is below one so we could also in in our title why don't I why don't I do that okay and we'll put a title because this probability uh, uh, below one and we'll put PLC LCR distribution probably below one and we can get uh, this one and press shift control P I hope and we can put that then in our uh, uh, up come on okay uh oh uh -uh. and and let's make this a little bigger um, okay and you know maybe oh, I don't... oh come on ah! I'm pressing F1 F3 and everything else all I want to do is press a, a, a colon here so we can get that in our sheet okay so that probability below one adds all this up uh, why don't we put uh, 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 we better you know put the, the uh, chart uh, axis table so the horizontal one will be PLCR increment okay and we'll make this uh, some big one and then we'll put a probability oh come on I meant to leave it there didn't I okay okay and then let's uh, I'll put that as a larger uh, thing okay maybe this is larger and then we have our this is the one with uh, 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 no mean reversion and everything else now let's do the same kind of thing now if we I suppose if we use the same scale phew, yeah why, why don't we just use the same scale and that, now let's do so so we can copy this uh, uh, over here now this time I'll do this a little bit different Felipe from from uh, uh, Rio taught me this uh, shift control enter oops oh that didn't work I just I just wanted this F2 
No, that didn't work. Okay, control D. Okay, why didn't that work? Oh well. Thought it right, would. And now we'll do the same uh, frequency distribution. I guess we can do it over here. Uh, and then we'll leave a space equal frequency. Okay, and then this time, let's, uh, how about, we'll do this one, which isn't that extreme, you know, or, or, you know, let's do this one, which had the higher production cost, except they're also high. Let, let's do this one that had a, a lower production cost. And then we uh, put the bins in, shift, control, enter, now you can see that it, and then we can put this divided by the sum of of that line okay what did i do wrong there you have to put a closed bracket okay and then when we uh, do this so this is the probability and why don't here i'm going to try something uh, just click on this one and if you press f11 it just makes another one and then if you would right click and press select data and we just select that one i think we can just go over here <laughs> okay and we press OK. And now you can see we, it, we don't have any probability of going one, and we have a much, you know, tighter, if we compare this scale to this scale, that was a much wider uh, distribution. So uh, well, why don't we put just a title here uh, probability? PLCI probe distribution with mean reversion. Now, if we would do the same thing, and we couldn't really do it with this one because we'd have to put a a much higher. Uh, Okay, suppose what we could do is is a, a, a put a put an average. Okay, so let's just practice doing this. Okay, and then equal std. Okay, and then we we put the. Look at the difference in this. No, it's about the same. <laughs> okay, and then we put. Let's put the minimum. <sighs> okay, we never get anything below fourteen. The maximum. How about we'll put the the uh, mean plus the standard deviation times three or something like this, and then we can. Put the difference in the increment, and then we can uh, do the same kind of thing. Okay, but this time we, instead of adding this one, we add this one. Okay, and we can. Uh, do the same frequency distribution chart. So we select this one and put equal frequency. Okay, and uh, we select the whole area and then uh, uh, put the bins in. Shift Control Enter. Oh, no. oh, yeah, I can do this still. Okay, equal sum. No, equal. Okay. And let's put the problem. 
ability. And let's try the same thing here. This time we can uh, right click. No, we can just press Shift F, uh, just F11. It doesn't, uh, interesting, it doesn't uh, take the uh, uh, thing away. It doesn't take the, so it didn't really help that much because I wanted it to take the formatting. Probably is some way to do that. Okay, and now we we have just a much, much higher distribution. We don't get anything close to one. It looks more like a normal distribution. Okay, and that's graphing. So I'm going to stop this video now. And